Hi, everybody. I'm Brittany Lewis, a breaking news reporter here at Forbes. Joining me now is Texas-based immigration attorney, Kate Lincoln-Goldfinch. Kate, thank you so much for joining me. Happy to be here. We have a lot to discuss. I'm excited for you to break it down for us. So last month, Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed a bill into law that would let police arrest immigrants who cross the border illegally. There's an update to this, a new development. Just this week, the DOJ sued the state to block the move. So can you break down the arguments on both sides for us? Sure. So Senate Bill 4 is a law in Texas that is set to take effect in early March, March 5th or 6th. And what it says is it creates misdemeanor crimes for entering the country illegally with a step up for a subsequent entry. And it authorizes law enforcement agents throughout the state of Texas to interrogate, arrest, detain, and charge people who have entered the country illegally. It also has a provision for failure to depart so that if someone you know says that they will leave the country instead of accepting a charge, that they could face up to 20 years in jail. So it's very severe and harsh penalties. And so the arguments against the law are that immigration is a federal issue and that police agents who are not immigration experts should not be um, enforcing immigration laws. Also that there's no way to enforce a law like this without engaging in racial profiling. Right. So how would a police officer in Dallas who has pulled someone over who is driving know or suspect that 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 person has entered the country illegally without using some type of racial profiling? So there's lots of arguments against the law. I would say the arguments that there are for the law are for the people who feel like the federal authorities are not doing their jobs in terms of immigration and they want the state to step in um, and take control. I'm just going to ask you point blank, is SB4, this law, is it constitutional? No, SB4 is not constitutional because federal immigration enforcement is a federal issue. And that is the bottom line. There were, there was a similar law in Arizona 10 years ago, and that was SB 1070, which went all the way up to the Supreme Court. Most of that law was blocked although there was a provision that allowed some law enforcement agents to ask people about immigration status. And so my guess is that the way that this will play out in Texas with the lawsuits, the DOJ lawsuit or the ACLU lawsuit is that portions of Senate Bill 4 are going to be enjoined, but probably some main piece of it may be allowed to continue. 